Hi, Taurus. Happy October. Happy, happy October. How are you guys? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm doing something a little bit different this month, Taurus. I am pulling what I'm calling a key card for the month. And I'm using a deck that I use for myself um, when I'm doing personal readings for myself. I really love this deck. Oh, we got a card right away for you guys. I really love this deck. It's really intuitive. It takes like the regular tarot deck and really like delves into it. All right, let's see what we pulled for you guys. Page of Cups, wow. All right. I am gifted to be connected to my emotions. I allow them to move through me like water running through a pipe. I no longer resist or hold on to them. I just love them and allow them to pass through me like a moment in time. Hmm. Interesting, Taurus. Page of Cups. Cups is, is all about emotions, as you know, as you can see in there. Um, so the month of October has some kind of message in regards to your, your emotions. A free flow of emotions, allowing emotions to come in and out and not hold on or retain them. Hmm. While I'm shuffling your cards, Taurus, um, I just wanted to remind you, if you like the video and it resonates with you, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to continue to see my monthly videos. Both of those things really uh, help my channel to grow, and I appreciate your support. Also, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, all of the information for that is going to be down in the description box below the video. I'll have uh, a link that you can hit and it'll send you to the right spot to read all the info. These two want to come out. All right, Taurus, let's see what you got for the month of October. Queen of Pentacles. That's the Taurus card. <laughs> That shows you uh, being able to manifest, manifest lucrative, and being able to share that with the ones that you love. Underneath that, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords is a strong communicator, very logical, very decisive. Next, we have the Six of Swords. Moving into calmer waters, moving away from something that just didn't work out for you. Hmm. Wow, underneath that, we have Major Arcana, the Devil card. Feeling changed, chained, restricted by something. Hmm. Wow. Next card out, we have Major Arcana, the Magician. Not Magician, Magician. This card is all about manifestation. You have all the, the tools you need in your toolbox to be able to create whatever you're wanting to create right now. Beautiful card. Underneath that, we have the Ten of Rods. Burdens. Hmm. All right, let me take a look, Taurus. Mm -mm. Nope. Something's not working out for you guys. Something is not allowing you to be the Queen of Pentacles. Something's not allowing you to be in your element. Something's been standing in your way. Something's been restricting you, whether it be your, your mental thought process, Taurus, the way that you're thinking, whether it be a certain situation of where you are in your life, a relationship that you're in, um, a, a career that you're stuck in, a job that you're stuck in that, that you don't want to be in. 
No, something's not working out and you guys know it. You guys know it. With the King of Swords coming in, there's that, that clear logic and clarification that says, you know what, I this is not working out for me. This is restricting me. This is not allowing me to, to be who I need to be. In the month of October, uh, if you guys haven't already, you're choosing to leave the situation behind. Okay? Because it's no longer fulfilling and it's no longer allowing you to be who you are, Taurus. Like on a fundamental level. This is very personal. Some kind of situation that you guys are, are in, whether it's a location or a person or a job or something is restricting you and not allowing you to be who you are and not allowing you to do what you want to do. It's got to go. This has got to go. Hmm. Taurus, you have the ability to do that. You have the ability to move away from the situation. You have all the tools, like I said, in your toolbox that you need to be able to manifest a different situation for yourself. And I feel like you guys are no you you know that in a way. You you may not know yet, Taurus, like what's on the other side, but you know that you have to leave behind whatever it is that's restricting you because it's a burden. You guys can't even hold the weight of it anymore. Nobody can look at this. <laughs> Taurus, like nobody can function like this. It's too much. There's too much pressure and weight on you guys. It's too restricting. Hmm. I want to look at and see where this, this page of cups comes back in as your key card. I am gifted to be connected to my emotions. I allow them to move through me like water running through a pipe. I no longer resist or hold on to them. I just love them and allow them to pass through me like a moment in time. There may be something in October Taurus that that you're emotionally leaving behind. I have to be honest with you. At some point in time, it was there was some type of situation that you were emotionally invested with. And you're being asked to let that go. You know, because honestly, Taurus, and in, in order to allow new energy and new emotion to come in, if there is emotion that's toxic and it's angry and it's restricting and it's bitter, it's poisonous. And you need to flush it out. You need to let it go. You need to flush that right out. I mean, not even like health wise, you can't even deal with it anymore, honestly. Nobody can, can be expected to carry this, um, this load forever. It's too much. You know, Taurus, people have a tendency to just really count on you guys for every little thing. Because Taurus is a strong individual. You guys are strong. You're a whole lot more grounded than a lot of other people. You're a whole lot more stable than a lot of other people. But I mean, you know, it, you can't carry everyone else's weight for them. And, and I don't know why I'm saying this, but I just feel, uh, I, I just feel like this is not good energy for you, Taurus. And you guys have either already decided to move on from it or you will be moving on from it because you just can't. It's not that you haven't tried. You've certainly tried, but it's the end of this cycle. There's only so long that you can do that for, Taurus. You guys have the ability to do it. You might not know exactly where you're heading, and it's changing and everything, but you guys have the ability to, to manifest and get back to being who you are, who you're meant to be. I don't know why, but I want to I want to pull a clarifier for this King of Swords. It just keeps on standing out to me. 
to me, I feel like it represents clarification. Like you're just going to know that it's, you're going to know when it's time. You're going to know when it's time to leave. I mean, some of you might have been asking like, okay, how do I do this? When do I change this? How do I get out of this? And I feel like in this month, if it hasn't already come in, it's going to be coming in that clarification that you need. Yeah. <laughs> Death card. I know this looks like a like a morbid card, but it's not. <laughs> it's like a fantastic card. It's a major arcana. It simply means the end of a cycle, Taurus. It's the end. This is coming to an end and some type of message or some type of clarification is coming into you, Taurus, if it hasn't yet already. Like I said, I feel like this is something that you guys have been been dealing with for a while. You know, you have the, the 10, which is, you know, that's it's accumulated to this point where you just can't do it anymore. You guys are out. You're outie. <laughs> you know, if you've been questioning about how do I do this or when 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 it when can I leave this situation? And it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't it doesn't matter what the situation is, whether it's it's where you live or your career or a financial situation that's been dragging you down, a family situation, a, uh, a relationship situation, whatever the scenario is, whatever it is, it's become toxic for you guys. And uh, you can no longer uphold that. No. No. It's coming to an end in the month of October and you guys are going to be heading in a new direction. Like I said, I understand, especially for Taurus, that... It's a little bit kind of daunting, like, where do I go from here? But the Magician card says that you guys can do it, that you're the clear, right? You guys have what it takes to be successful anywhere you go. Hmm. If you have something coming to an end in the month of October, Taurus, you have everything that you need to start over fresh and start over very well, by the way. Hmm. That's where that key card, the Page of Cups, comes in. Allow the emotions to come in and allow them to flow out. I, 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 there is also like a little bit of a feeling with you guys that you need to be open to, to change. You need to kind of be able to go with the flow a little bit in the month of October, Taurus. That's a little bit of a different energy. For you guys. I don't know. Is Taurus very go with the flow? Hmm, you can sometimes be. But when it comes to, to life plans, and you guys are, you know, you're pretty set. So there's a little bit of an element of not knowing exactly what's ahead once you leave the situation behind. But it's okay, Taurus. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Seriously, nobody can tolerate this anymore. <laughs> you gotta go. I mean, it's just such a good, it, it's such a good thing to see the magician card coming up here because it does say that you guys have all the tools you need to be able to, to, to rebuild, okay? So don't be scared, Taurus. Don't be intimidated by this. You're fine, you got it. This is only good. It's a good thing to leave this behind. It's a good thing to let go of things that are no longer serving you and things that are binding you and restricting you and not allowing you to be yourself. Let it go. Dear you, there is always more than one side to an argument, two sides if not more, to every story and hundreds, hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today, we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternative plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences, and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another's point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things once common ground is reached. You're attracting people in situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. 
We love you so much. I have to be honest with you, Taurus. I've used this deck for, I don't know, a long time now, and I've never pulled this card. I have never seen this card before. <laughs> so that is, it's really cool. Um, you know, which tells me it's a, it's a message um, specifically meant for you. Something that I'm kind of getting out of it, and, and of course it's up to you guys to, to take that, you know, that message, how it resonates with you. But, um, you know, I, I don't feel like you guys are, are, you know, wanting to, I, I think that you, that you understand that there is a different side. And that everybody has the ability to have a different story or a different opinion. I don't think that you guys hold that against anybody. I just think that you know who you are, right? And the compromise here in this particular situation might be that, you know, if you're moving out of a situation that involves another person, that you guys can just kind of agree to disagree, right? <laughs> That's what I'm kind of getting from this. Sometimes you just have to agree that you disagree and you have to be okay with that, right? It's like there's no resentment and there's no like bitterness. It's just that you decide that, hey, I can, I, I just can't do this. This, this isn't me. This is, is restrictive to me. And you can be you, and you can have your opinion, and you can have your feelings, and I can have mine. And that's okay. And that's okay. It's just, it's done. It's time to move on from it. You've got too many good things coming in for you, Taurus, to be bothered. I love you guys so much. I know you're going to have a interesting month in October, and it's going to be good. It's going to end up being good for you, Taurus. I just know it. Mwah. Love you guys so much. See you next time.